Uh, I was in a two-car garage when I first started, and uh, it, it, it was cramped. Um, very cramped. <laughs> I've always been a very hands-on person, so anything that I could try and make, or destroy for that matter, I would take it apart and see if I could put it back together, and sometimes I was successful, sometimes I wasn't so successful. As soon as I graduated from college, I went into woodworking. The way I've set up my shop is with every job that I would get, the revenue or the profit from that would go into other machinery. So every job, a portion of the funds was dedicated back to the shop in terms of either supplies or machinery, primarily machinery. I love hand tools. There's just something pure about them. I mean, the ability to use them is not something that a lot of people can say they have. So I, I really enjoy the hand tool side of things. I'm not a purist when it comes to hand tools. I use them a lot, and there's a lot of things I do in the shop that I could not do without the hand tool side of things. But obviously I use a lot of power tools as well. It's not that I couldn't get by without them from a production and a speed standpoint. Machinery makes everything much more accurate and much quicker. Well, over the years, my style really has been fairly consistent. Um, I've always been attracted to kind of an Asian or Japanese influence. Um, and it, it's, it may be subtle, but there's usually a hint of it in most of my pieces. And that has kind of carried through from day one to where I am today. And I love it when I have clients that say, hey, you're the artist, I love the work that you do, go to town. Just you design it, you make it, and I'm gonna love it. I like to use things that are uncommon. Uh, and it may be a very common wood, say cherry, for example, but if there's a uniqueness or an oddity to the wood, I like that. I don't like it to look perfect and pristine. I, I like the imperfections in it. So that's kind of what makes a board special to me. Well, one of the techniques I employ a lot for curves is a process called bent laminations and it's taking a bunch of thinner material and putting them all back together around a form or a shape and gluing them back up and it holds that shape. But it's incredibly strong and stable, consistent, and it's not one that I have to worry about years down the road failing. It's very reliable. The nice thing about this bridle joint is that um, even without glue, it's incredibly strong but the fit does have to be precise. Yeah, I get a lot of joy and satisfaction knowing that I've made somebody happy and I've greatly exceeded their expectations. Um, but I do it because I love it. I'm really good with my hands and I've always enjoyed doing stuff with my hands. You know, I just get great satisfaction from taking a raw, you know, resource and making it into something of, of value. Um, I, I take great pride in that.
Hang on, I have to get in character.